A man accused of stalking says he's the victim of a witch hunt by the BBC and the police. Alex, Bel Alex Belfield from Nottingham faces eight charges of stalking different people, including a number of broadcasters. While well, our reporter Simon Ward was at Nottingham Crown Court today. Simon, just tell us what's happened in this case. Well, 42-year-old Alex Belfield from Mapley in Nottingham was a radio presenter at many different stations, including BBC Radio Leeds. He's accused of stalking eight people, including the broadcaster Jeremy Vine. Mr Belfield is not accused of physically stalking them. The prosecution say he repeatedly sent emails, posted on social media and made YouTube videos, which it's claimed amount to stalking. The prosecution finished its case today. The judge said Alex Belfield had the chance to give evidence from the witness box under oath and be cross-examined. He declined, as he is entitled to do so. The judge said the jury can decide for themselves what to make of the decision not to give evidence. So what did Alex Belfield have to say, Simon? He's representing himself in court and he said he's sticking to the evidence that he gave in police interviews and that's why he's not taking to the witness stand. He read some agreed facts to the jury. This was emails from BBC Security in 2016 and 2017. This stated they did not see any value in the continued monitoring of emails from Alex Belfield. They are inoffensive and non-threatening and there was no risk to BBC staff. And what else did Mr Belfield tell the jury? Well, he gave a speech to the jury going through the case and how he sees it and much of this relates to free speech. He said, I'm a Nottingham lad with a potty mouth and I speak as I find it. I appreciate that's not to everyone's taste. He explained most of his emails were freedom of information requests to the BBC press office. He was investigating how much the BBC was spending on awards events and on travel. He said he's the most successful anti-BBC journalist and they hate me for it. The broadcaster, Jeremy Vine, gave evidence in court earlier in the trial. Mr Vel Belfield had been sending information requests about £1,000 of BBC money, which had been given to a charity. Mr Belfield said that shouldn't have happened. Jeremy Vine had cried in court, but Alex Belfield said he had never sent an email directly to him. He said for Jeremy Vine to call him the Jimmy Savile of trolling was unthinkable. Mr Belfield says he's been accused of sending 6,000 emails, but only 29 have been given in the bundle of evidence. He does not believe the BBC has forensically looked for more emails, otherwise they would be part of the evidence. He says there's been collusion and a conspiracy between the BBC and the police. Alex Belfield denies all the charges and the trial continues. OK, thank you, Simon.